What's up, everybody? I'm Marcus Lane, and this is Three Minutes or Less. So there are a handful of truths that I try to live my life by, and one of those truths is that the end of the toilet paper should always go underneath the roll, never over the top. You might laugh, but I think it's incredibly functional. That way, when you can't find the end, which is incredibly frustrating, all you have to do is spin it, and it just kind of flips down over for you. Now, I can admit, though, that this is just a preference, right? We all have preferences, don't we, right? Do we squeeze the toothpaste from the end of the tube or do we squeeze it from the top? Do we like our bed sheets tucked into the end of the bed or do we like them untucked? Do we like it a little bit warm when we sleep or a little bit cold? We all have preferences and we can all be a little bit picky and particular about our preferences, can't we? Now here's the thing though, I think sometimes when we read the scriptures, we think that the commandments that God gives to us are basically just that his preferences, right? Like we read them and we think, wow, God is very intent on his house always being 72 degrees, never 73 degrees, and certainly never 71. And then our entire job as Christians just sort of becomes, we need to tiptoe around God's laws, his preferences, hoping that we don't offend him by transgressing the boundary. You know, it's funny that we think that way because if you actually read the Bible, the writers of scripture speak very differently about the commandments that we read. Like in Psalm 1, David says that the righteous man actually delights in the law of the Lord. Or in Psalm 119, it says that the word of God is a lamp to our feet. It's a light to our paths. It shows us the way that we go so we don't trip and we don't fall. Or Deuteronomy 30, as Moses is, is speaking the law to the people of Israel, he says about the commandments that in them you find the path of good and life, and outside of them is the path of death and evil. You see, here's what we actually discover about God through his commandments. It's not that he's picky, it's not that he's particular, but it's that he's good and he's holy and he actually wants what's best for us. You see, to rebel against this good and holy God is ultimately to choose the path of self-destruction. And so God, in his commandments, actually shows that he is intent on destroying in us the things that will ultimately destroy us. We find in the commandments of Scripture that what God wants more than anything is for us to have life. And God actually wants that so much that he hasn't just shown you the path of life in his laws. He's become that path by sending his son Jesus 